Hello and welcome back to Dark Souls. In our previous episode, you saw me join Tigris in killing the Bell Gargoyles. And then I came down here to the Capra Demon's lair, where I slew him heroically, using a very cheesy tactic of standing where he couldn't get to me. Now, one thing I discussed in the previous episode of what I was intended to do in this one was going and playing with the Hellkite Wyvern a little more. However, I noticed that I picked up a key from the uh, Capra Demon along with his machete. And I believe I know where this key goes. So I'm going to go and explore that briefly before we go and join the Hellkite Demon to try and prove or disprove Jap uh, Dapper Jesters, not Jappa Desters theory that uh, we can, can't kill it. Which I suppose is going to be difficult to, to disprove because the only way I can prove it is by killing it and that in and of itself is going to be difficult anyway. And it looks like my frame rate drops a lot here. I do apologize for that. Seems all these tor torches seem to murder my frame rate. But yeah, there we go. The depths key. Now, I have no idea what's down here. I haven't seen anyone go to the depths yet in any let's play, so... Let's have a little bit of a roll there. Nope. Down here, perhaps. I'm hoping that my frame rate will get a little bit better soon. But it appears not to want to. Okay. Much down here? Die. Oh, yes, there is something there. Okay, we are in the depths. There is something over here. And the frame rate has gotten better. Yay. Large soul of a nameless soldier. Now, I believe the different types of large souls offer different amounts of souls, basically. Like uh, the ones of the nameless soldier or uh, hollow undead. Hollow undead, is, I think, is the smallest one. Okay, let's not roll there because I don't know if I'll end up going off the edge or something. Uh, and my frame rate's gone to shit again. I think it's the torches. I'm sorry, but you just have to put up with it for now. And then. Shit, shit, shit. Kill him. Bugger. I got set on fire. How rude. And you can have it as well. Right, it looks like it's safe to roll around in here and smash all the... Oh, wow. There is some crazy looking chef down there. Ah, oh, crap. I don't want to be fighting no bosses. I came down on an exploratory mission. To boldly go where I've never gone before. And not to get set on fire either. Smash all your tables. It looks like this is some sort of hollow cafeteria. I'm just running around here, breaking everything. I am such a hooligan. And of course I have no intention of changing. Explore a little bit more. Right, let me pass the table. Um, as I've got a new mic, I think I mentioned this in previous episode, possibly uh, in the XCOM series actually. I have a new mic and I've been playing around with the settings quite a lot over the last few days to try and get it right and to get the position that I needed to be at, things like that. Um, so if you notice any, uh, if you notice my audio is too quiet, too loud, um, if you can hear me breathing or anything like that, then please let me know. With the breathing thing, I'm fairly certain that I'm going to be breathing a little bit heavier into the mic than usual because I can't breathe through my nose still. I've still got a cold, so I'm having to take gulps of breath every now and then. I do apologize if that's uh, too distracting. Please let me know if it is really quite bad and I will do my best to turn my head or, I don't know, stop breathing. Hold my breath for an entire Let's Play. I'll have to take a massive lung full of air to start with, because I'll need enough air to carry on talking throughout. But uh, you guys are worth it. And I'm awesome. Okay. Oh, dogs! That's what I get for saying I'm awesome, is it? 
Get a dog. Ah, oh, a bleeding dog bite. Oh man, he's not dead, really? These ultra dogs or something? No, they're regular dogs. Now what's down here? There's some dude with an enormous meat cleaver. And there's more dogs. Okay, someone's angry with me. Can I lock him? Yes, I can. Can I be a git and throw something at him? No, I cannot. Oh, I could do this. This is very cheeky. Okay, is he gonna... Yeah, he's gonna see me. Okay. No, haha! <laughs> you foolish chef! This is why you're not a soldier. It's because you're stupid. And I'm gonna cheese... Oh, never mind. Well, honestly, I prefer it when I can actually have a fight. Shield up! Okay. And then... Okay, I wasn't able to parry that. George! No, 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 oh my goodness. Chopped in the back. Run away! And there I was saying I wanted a gentlemanly fight, and not to cheese it, and then you chop me in the spine. Hardly the act of a gentleman. Come down here and fight me. Okay. No. Okay. Maybe yes. No! 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 I almost killed him and then I died. Damn chefs. 10,411 souls. And two humanity are down there. I think it's fair to say you know I'm going back. Like how am I just going to leave that there? Oh, what's this say? Praise the sun. Yes. Praise it. Praise it now. And then throw yourself down deep dark well where you won't be able to see the sun and lose all your souls. Be wary of snipers, well. Yeah, okay. Ah. Oh. This is nasty. Don't let them kill me. Cannot afford to die just yet. Need to get my souls back first. I'm sorry. Perhaps I can come back and let you kill me after I've done that. I can't believe how reckless I was then. That was silly. I've killed those guys dozens of times. Okay. Can't aim with this thing. At all. Maybe a great sword if you're actually a great player. But when you are not, like me, that sword seems a little bit cumbersome to use. Actually, when I get my 10,000 souls back, I could come back here and buy two humanity. That would be a nice little gift for myself. A bit risky. Massively cocky. I could easily have seen myself dying there. Falling all the way down, dying, losing all my souls. And humanity, actually. Don't mind about losing the souls. Humanity is the part that I want to keep. Try humanity. Yes. And there's some humanity for you, so you can try it. Good luck. Thank you. I should really spend more time writing messages than rating them, I think. Perhaps that's my problem. I know there's one of you behind me. That one's down. So one further on, yes. Damn. Gotta try and learn the attacks. Oh, actually, I think I started to learn a little bit about parrying that it's you can't really parry an attack if you're standing too far back even if the attack is going to hit you just get that back doesn't matter just keep get that back and that's the big oh wow there's someone down there as well okay now i'm up here i can drink an ss flask or go two-handed 
Either or. Okay. Now drink an acid flask, please. Right. There. Now, let's be calm about this. With all these tables around, actually, I should probably break a couple of them, simply to give myself room to fight. The last thing I want to do is back up into a table. Can I shoot him from up here? So I know you've got some dogs down there. Wouldn't mind getting rid of those. A dog coming up or not? Slice. Oh, yeah, he's going up now, though. Okay, he's pretty slow, actually. If I just watch what I'm doing, that was nearly as hard a fight as I made it the first time around. Wow, he's assuming an odd position there. He's got remarkably long arms as well. Right, I believe there's another dog. Indeed there is. Uh, there was another dog. Oh, well, there's one down there as well. I'll leave you there for now. Fireplace. Anything in there? No. Cooking pots. With frame reducing fires. That's what I think of your food. And this is what I think of your crates. There's a door back there. Oh. Had that something cool. Ooh, chest. I don't find nearly large ember. Now I believe I know what this is. I think this is something that I use. Ember for blacksmith, weapon ascension. Bingo. Ember required for weapon ascension. A large, high-quality ember. Handled by the blacksmiths of Astoria. Ascension for plus 5 standard weapon. Allows reinforcement to plus 10. Also, can ascend a plus 5 standard weapon to raw weapon. Raw weapon can be reinforced to plus 5. I don't remember what a raw weapon is. I think a raw weapon, it does more damage, but it's, I think, loses some of its um, stat modifiers or something. Come on. I know you want to come up here. Don't make me have to shoot you. I will. Ha-ha! Uh -huh. Oh, you still got me as well. Damn it. I ha ha too soon. Oh shit, there's a lot of them. And I can't run in this murk. Okay, I'm gonna come get you first. Well, I'm really, really slow in this. Ah, shit. Just take a shot. Aha! I wouldn't even see if he had anything on him right now. Oh, this hasn't happened before. I haven't been slowed down by water in the past. Kind of interesting. Oh, there's a way up there. Now, despite having said that I practiced parrying, I've not really practiced it since. Not done anything with it. Let's just go. Goes into another room. Oh, we were just up there, actually. What if I just pissed off? Ah, oh, shit. This is quite a tight space to fight this guy in. Shit. No. Bad, bad, bad zombie.
Man, I'm going to have to go through a lot of them now to get that stuff back. This death area is not nice. But it's kind of cool to be somewhere completely new. Going back to the Hellcat Wyvern, although that would be fun if I could beat him, it is still a place I've already been a few million times. Oh, that was silly of me, assuming that I was going to parry the blow. Aha! Ah, <laughs> your fire won't reach me. You fool. Can I hit you though? Yes, I can. Oh, you're already dead, never mind. And so are you. I need to remember that these guys are not tough. <laughs> and yeah, I still did it! Oh my goodness. I'll kill this rat with this magic as well. That is a lot easier than having to parry him and get poisoned repeatedly. Thank heavens this water doesn't slow me down like the other stuff did. Otherwise, this run back to the depths would be incredibly annoying. Oh, I thought I had my shield out. I was trying to defend from that, not shoot him again. That is going to get me sooner or later. I'm going to try that and I'm going to miss. And I'm going to really kick myself when I lose all my souls. I can tell myself this and it won't change the fact I'm going to keep doing it until it happens. Because I am remarkably stupid. Oh, crap. I accidentally swapped my magic to uh, a magic not specifically useful at shooting people. Very good for uh, enchanting my sword, however, but just not very useful in other situations. That's what I wanted to do. I wanted to stab them. I wanted to try and be tactical about it. Now then, there's one over here. Let's just try this Baldur sword out for a bit. 133, that's quite respectable damage. I will swap back to this one, though. Oh, no, actually. Oh, wow. He just railed on me there. Leave me alone. Do not want to lose my souls. <sighs> this is very stressful. I'm making it much more stressful than it needs to be. Now my souls are down there somewhere. There they were. So I'm going to go get those. Wow, I completely missed these guys. Okay, my stamina regen, and go get my stuff. Hopefully, I don't anger anything. This door, it opens. Where does it go? It goes deeper, and that's not where I want to go right now. I'm going to go kill those other big uh, machete-wielding dudes because I know sooner or later I'm going to want to go in this direction and I will probably be killed. He comes down off the rafters. I wouldn't have thought rafters would have been able to support his weight. Not what I want to do. 
drink. Oh, my fatty. Oh, wow, you trapped me through a wall. That's not fair. No, not again. Ah! For humanity. Am I picking her up off these guys? It's remotely possible. Either that or... Someone's rating one of my messages. And back we go. If nothing else, I'm accumulating plenty of humanity doing this. That sounded like a lot more humanity was given to me then just than from one kill. I'm not going to bother with that guy over there. Through the flames, round here. Stab. You too. That could have ended really badly for you if it slipped off. And it did end badly for you anyway, because you died, obviously. There we go. Wow, what? Whoa. I think you just clicked through the floor. But I'm going to imagine that there was a trap there all along. And I just never stepped on the right stone in order to trigger it. I promise, Merchant Woman, I will be back soon to buy lots of humanity off you. Just as soon as I stop try dying when I try to get my souls back. Though, if I continue to accumulate humanity at the rate I'm doing it, I won't need to buy any of it. That'd be nice. It's been a long time since I've had any humanity at all, so accumulating it as I'm doing right now, it's quite... feels quite good. Right, now I'm going to shoot people. I mean it. I'm going to shoot you. Okay, okay. Uh, no one likes a mage. I keep forgetting this. Magic is like a swear word in Dark Souls. Just die. Now, if I can, though... I will piss you guys off with my magic. No, nope, that doesn't work. Uh oh. Ha ha! That's right. Oh. Yes. Seems that whenever I feel good about myself in this game. Something happens to remind me that I'm actually bad at it. And that whatever I did that made me feel good was just very, very lucky. Broken straight sword. Now, where are my souls this time? Still there. Where that guy's going to come from? Where are you going to come from? There he is. Come at me. Ha ha! I win. Oh, you've dropped a sack. Look, I know I'm not the handsomest of dashing adventurers in the world, but that's just a bit mean, don't you think? However, I will check it out. A sack. As one might expect, it's kind of shit. Bloodstained patriot sack of the undead man, eating man-eating cook lurking in the depths. Two eye holes have been haphazardly cut out. It is unexpectedly soft and comfortable to wear, but it is probably near meaningless in terms of defense. Yes. Yes, uh, that's true. 
I love the his, I love the fact that he put it on and checked whether it was comfortable to wear or not. That is awesome. Right. Now there are two ways I can go. I can either go down there. I can come along up here. Oh, there's someone in one of those pickling jars. And I had my menus still up, which could have turned out very badly if I tried to block. Who are you? Who are you? Oh, you're actually not dead? Really? Wow. I'm tempted to leave you there. I could use you as a distraction. You know what? I'm going to break every one of these barrels but yours. I'll let you think. Wonder whether I'm going to help you or not. Yo. There you are. Yes. You must help me. Why? Or else. Or you else. You're my only help. Oh, please. Well. Tell me a little more. There you are. You must help me. Okay, so exactly the same or thing. Else. Fine, I'll let you out. You're free, strange man. Thank you. You're welcome. I would have been a in the line. I well, she might have cooked you first, I don't know, and you probably wouldn't have survived that. Thank you, dear. I am Laurentius. Laurentius? That's a cool name. I will not forget my death to you. Be sure that you do not, for I will not forget your oh, death to me. I'm fine, thanks to you. Good. Um, I imagine he's going to go back to Violent Shrine, the nexus of the universe, and I will meet you there, Galaxy Commander. Let's go forth. Now, there's a door down there. It goes somewhere else. And I'm wondering about that. Let's go have a look. But for humanity, after all. What better way to celebrate it than to lose it in a stupid way? Okay. Nothing there. Glories of third person cameras. Let's be, just be careful. Oh my god, what is on my head? I actually jumped out of my skin. Do not want. Do not want. That just brought back all kinds of horrible memories of Half-Life and those things that hang from the ceilings and pull you up with their tongues. Ah. <sighs> I mean, call me whatever you want, really, because I don't think you have any right not to say that would scare the bejeebus out of you. Is it alive? Is it still alive? I don't know. Yes, it is. I can lock onto it. Well, you little shitbag, you're going to die. Not doing much damage. But I can do this all day. I should have known that they would put something there to lure me into position. Some nefarious evil reason. Don't know what I just killed, but I... It died in a pretty good way. Ooh. Green Titanite Shard. I'm not sure what that does, but I think you can use it in a special way to uh, enchant stuff. Called Soul of a Nameless Soldier. Probably died in the same way I almost did. Bad luck, dude. Oh, this bloody water. Right, get it into a safe place, and I'm going to have a look at that. Let's have a look. Oh, it's probably here. Right. Show me your magics. Weapon reinforcement. Green Titanite imbued with a special power. Reinforces magic, divine, and fire weapons to plus five. Titanite shards are fragments of the legendary slabs. Titanite is etched into weapons to reinforce. Oh, so it's not like an ember. It doesn't unlock something. But uh, I use it in a very specific way. Okay. Understood. Keep an eye on the ceilings. What 
watching for you. Can I lock onto anything? No. I like this torch. No, I can't. Oh, there's a door. It's a very special hobbit door. I cannot go through it. Another hobbit door. Hmm, you look suspicious. You are not suspicious. What about you? No. Equally not suspicious. No, none of them are suspicious. Well, they are all suspicious. They just not... Don't take any. And I'm going to be mean. This is going to be the first time I've done it, but I've broken. I'm going to be a real git. Um... Let's find illusory door. Illusionary door. Let's find you. You must be somewhere. Okay, not here. Um, geography, maybe. Illusionary wall. I know I am a terrible person. And I clearly don't deserve the full humanity that I've got. But I'm okay with this. It's about time someone else felt my pain. Something doesn't sound right. Maybe it's just water. Okay, another door I can't go through. Oh, hello. Oh, I see you up there. Yeah, I don't think I don't. Unfortunately, I don't have my ma many of these magical things left. Let's see if I can just get one of them down. Got one. Okay. Is it coming for me? No, it's not. In that case... Quickly before it decides to come. Oh no, no, here it comes. Okay. Come back. There's some sort of weird spike attack. Trying to capture me. Yeah, I see you there. Well, I'm not going to let you get me either. Oh man, these don't do much damage to it. But then again, it is basically a slime puddle. So I'm not that surprised. I wonder why these things drop. Oh, other than green titanite shards. Actually, that is entirely worth it if that's what they always drop. No? Okay. Too much to hope for. Ow. Let's get this one down off this perch. Just use up these until I run out. Okay, that's pretty cool. I can just do this. Makes it pretty quick. And actually, this short bow reloads really fast. I'm sure, there are more of you up there. Why can I not target them? Hmm. Well, okay. So, we've got a bunch of weird ceiling clinging slime. And it's already moved past the 30-minute uh, mark. I didn't quite notice. So, I'm just going to stand here, and I'm going to end this episode. And in the next episode, we're going to continue to shoot slimes off the roof. Riveting, I know. But I, hopefully, there'll be something cool beyond them. Or they may drop some awesome thing. So, until then, do take care.